Hey down the ladies, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into a little female idol being excited about Taeyang and them possibly spending a little time together. This is what she thought. I definitely want to get into this because I thought it was very cute. I also want to talk about Big Hit revealing kind of new sisters of Jungkook and what will be going on with that. There is definitely some interesting news with Big Hit right now. So let's jump into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's get into it. Let's start with Tang apparently wanting to spend a little bit of time with this female K-pop idol or so she thought. When I found out about this, I thought this was super cute. I really liked it and of course I wanted to share it with you guys as I do when I tend to like stuff. This happened on a talk show and I honestly love like these talk shows and reality shows where you get to learn more about the members, hear their stories and just hear what they like and don't like. You get to see some genuine reactions in my opinion. And I think a lot of people think that talk shows are like 100% scripted and fake. Like singers go on, they know the question that's going to be asked of them and they just pretend to go through the motions. But I do think a lot of the times it is real. You can tell because a lot of the times the people who go on are not great actors and I doubt they'll suddenly be able to be a great actor when they're on a talk show to like fake emotions and stuff. Anywho, in the latest episode of Immortal Song, the host mentioned that V actually talked about a connection that we did not know maybe existed. Apparently he had heard of this wonderful K-pop idol, listened to her music. He also may have been a fan too. Now it was with this woman named, drumroll please, Son Siang. Now I am not too familiar with her work, with her music. I have heard bits and pieces here and there, but I am definitely excited to hear of other artists that Taeyang is a fan of. And of course that means I'm a fan of too because he is my hubby and we like the same things, right? However, when Sun Sion was on the show, she got even more excited when the host mentioned that Taeyang would really like to see her sing and that Taeyang had been looking for her. She was so happy and then the host decided to roll a clip of Taeyang saying that. But what Taeyang said made her world fall apart. Sadness began to shroud over her. I'm kidding. But apparently in this clip, Clip, what Taeyang actually said was that he really wants to see her once in her life and that she is the singer that his hometown friend is looking for. Obviously she was disappointed. I think she just wanted Taeyang to want to see her, not his friend. I get what she means. If I'm going over there to see Taeyang, my husband, and then suddenly I see Taeyang's friends, my other husband, I'm not in the mood for those hubbies today. I just want to see Tae Tae. I do believe that Taeyang did say in there that he wanted to see her alongside with the friend. However, if Taeyang just explicitly said that he wanted to see her and just that, Song Seon will probably receive a little bit of death threats, you think, right? So Seon Taeyang's friend is a little good way to kind of, you know, stop that from happening. But we'll never know if Taeyang wants to see her or if it's actually the friend or what it is. I just want to clarify something real quick. When I do say that like armies are sending death threats, I never mean it as like all armies in general or the entire fandom, just a select group of people who call themselves armies. The same way I can say like I hate people, but obviously I don't hate my family and friends. I don't hate you. I'm not talking about you. If the shoe doesn't fit, don't wear it. Anyway, who Song Sian had the same reaction that I would have had. When I like someone so much, literally anyone around them, any of their friends, family, whatever, very quickly earns my respect. Like right away. Because you are a direct reflection of whoever you hang out with. And if I really like you, then I'm expecting that the friends are going to be similar to you. So Song Sian responded a little disappointed. She said, if it's V's hometown friend, then they're just as important as V is. I'll invite them to my concert next time. I wonder who the friend is. Imagine if Tan comes dressed up as the friend. I am joking, but imagine. I wonder when the setup date concert will be. Her reaction was very good. She is absolutely beautiful, and of course, if Tang and his friends like to see her, I would definitely like to give her more of a chance and definitely go over and stan her. I definitely wanted to see what was going on over on the Tweetster after this happened. People were not generally surprised that Tang's friend wanted to see her in concert. One person wrote, Song Sian, aka one of the best female vocalists in Korea. I definitely have heard her voice before. She is a soloist, from what I can tell, which is pretty rare I'd say, and her voice is definitely one of the best. I mean she can perform. Ugh, imagine being talented and loved by Taeyang's friends. All of Taeyang's friends are probably super attractive too. So I hope they like trash cans because I'm heading over there. You gonna get a nice little trash can on the outside of your house, me. Tang obviously doesn't really talk too much about his personal life. I didn't know he had a hometown friend. It's very nice to hear that he still keeps up with his hometown friends and all that stuff. It really shows the type of person that he is and that he likes to have long distance relationships with people and also long relationships with people. As you can tell, Tang is the long haul type of person. He's been in the long run with BTS, also Big Hit. One of the best decisions he has ever made was joining Big Hit. And now Big Hit is slowly starting to expand. And now there's even some rumors of new members. Now Jungkook has probably always wanted 
kind of a larger family. Whether that's an intermediate family that he started or even a larger like big hit singing family. And now he has a big one with additional sisters that apparently will be added to the label. There has definitely been rumors that Big Hit will announce a new female group and possibly a female group will be debuting in 2021. Now this is all alleged. We don't know for sure. But that is about a month away. So pretty soon. But wow, 2020 has passed by so fast. I really don't feel like anything happened in 2020. But at the same time, so much has happened in 2020. I feel like it was just one big long dream because it's probably what most of us did all day. Anyways, one of the trainees named Yoon Soombin. She has been training since 2015. So she is quite well trained, let's say that. But I believe this was from a different agency because I don't think at 2015 Big Hit had any girls. I am not sure, but I'm assuming that she recently started training with Big Hit. The internet definitely has a hunch that she's going to be part of Big Hit's new girl group. And apparently people on Korean forums have been talking about her for a long time now. And I guess they're awaiting her debut. I do wonder how trainees are popular enough to get netizens or fans already before they even debut. Especially since a lot of them aren't even allowed to be on TV yet. And I don't know if any of them are allowed to make YouTube videos or anything like that. So I do find that very interesting. I think the Big Hit family had a big possibility of getting bigger. And now BTS has much more opportunities to make different music with their label mates. I do wonder why BTS has not collaborated with like G-Friend or anything like that. It would be too much. The world would explode, I know. But we still want the world to explode, you know? It would also be cool to bring all the members together and maybe make like one CD track of all of them. Just titled the album Big Hits Family. Just an idea to put out there. If you want to take that idea, that is yours. I know they are definitely doing an end of the year concert. Maybe they want to do that concert and then test the album thing if they're going to do that. We do know that the concert is going to be the Big Hit Family. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited to possibly go and check it out. The ticket prices are slightly a bit high for me. It was too much for me to go ahead and hit the purchase button. Especially since the main two that I wanted to see was going to be BTS and TXT. And I also don't know how many songs they're going to do. If it's like one or two songs, I just can't justify paying that much. But anywho, a little sidetrack there. I definitely wanted to see what other people were saying over on the Tweetster. If they had any comments on the potential big new girl group that's going to be debuting at a big hit, someone made a joke and said this. You didn't hear that big hit announced the new girl group yesterday? STB. I am dying. This photo is of BTS as girls. It's like so funny. And they all look so beautiful too. So maybe this will happen. They'll make us think it's a new girl group that's coming out of Big Hit, but then it just ends up being BTS. I love all. Obviously that won't happen, but I love the fandom for creating something like this. It's very funny. There was also someone who found some photos online and they had this to say about the possible new Big Hit girl group. Saying this, Big Hit's new girl group is literally filled with visuals. Look at them. I mean, I'm looking, they look beautiful. And I have no doubt that they'll all be beautiful. Bang PD really knows how to pick out beautiful singers and dancers and all that stuff. Any group or any person that has trained with Big Hit have been pretty good looking. They're handsome, they're adorable people. One of the main reasons I believe BTS is so successful is due to their looks. Let's be real here. Jin is like considered the visual of the group, yet all the other members are still just as beautiful. This definitely helps them out a lot. I honestly can't wait to see the Big Hit family all complete for 2021. See what type of girl groups come out of there. I pretty much stand every single group that's come out of Big Hit so far. And probably just because I like BTS and Big Hit so much, I'm probably going to like whatever they push out of there. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check out some exclusive content, content that I can't really post over here. This is due to copyright. Videos get taken down and things like that, so I do keep them over there on my Patreon. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things over there if you'd like. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel and all that stuff. I have a video over there explaining that. But if you want to just check out more videos over on here, there's two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of the video, so click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.